All right, everybody. I'm meteorologist Matt Gray. Hope you're having a great weekend so far on this fallback weekend. That's right. The end of daylight saving is here, and that means sunsets before 5 o'clock. I'm not looking forward to that. And I'm sure some of you early birds are looking forward to having a little bit more light in the morning. And, of course, everybody can get that extra hour of sleep. So, should be fairly mild for tonight, or, or fairly quiet, I should say. It's will be down to around freezing in the Spokane area. Everybody generally in the low 30s and upper 20s. Mountain snow showers and sunrise going to be right around 644 in the morning on Sunday. So, here's what we need to know. Boy, some interesting, interesting weather coming up here. Uh, and once we set the clocks back on Sunday, some spotty showers are going to be moving in during the evening on Sunday. Some of that will be a little bit of snowflakes, especially in Idaho. Snowy mountains, and could we see more widespread valley snow on Tuesday? I think, especially for the northern parts of our viewing area, we are going to see some snowy weather on Tuesday. But how far south does that snowy weather go? Are we going to see our first snow of the year in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene? Well... Timing is everything, friends. So let's see what happens. Uh, but we'll kind of show you what we're thinking right now. As for your Sunday, high of around 45. Those showers are really not going to be showing up until after sunset for most of us. But it is still going to be popping off in the Cascades as far as snow. Definitely check travel conditions if you are headed west on Sunday. And you can see here a little bit cooler in places like Colville and Bonners Ferry, OMAC, for high temperatures, LC Valley up into the low 50s and generally in the mid 40s around Spokane and Kootenai counties for Sunday and really it should be fairly nice for most of the day here's where things get more interesting though in the northern tier of our viewing area north of I-90 north of Highway 2 as we get into Sunday evening we're expecting some showers to start to develop and track across the area from the west so largely that means more snow up in the mountains in northeast Washington and the Idaho Panhandle. So some good so uh, good additions to the snowpack for the for the Selkirks and the Kettle Valley uh, ranges. But we could see, especially because this is going to be after sunset and our temperatures are going to be dropping, that especially in the Idaho Panhandle we might get a little bit of snow mixing in with some of the rain as it passes over. Certainly in places like around uh, Shoshone County and parts of Kootenai County between 4th of July Pass and then across Shoshone County to Lookout Pass would not surprise me at all if we had a little bit of snow mixed in there. So it could be a little bit of a slushy start in those parts of North Idaho to Monday morning. But hey, after that, Monday looks pretty nice as well and then we'll have to keep an eye on things as we go into Tuesday. So. Tuesday, expecting areas south of Spokane and Coeur d'Alene to see some rain. Areas north seeing snow. I-90 going to be right on that dividing line. It just depends how early the wet weather gets started, whether we'll see a period of snow around Spokane. So we'll keep you updated on that part of the forecast as we go along. Still a little too early out to put anything more than, hey, there's a chance that we'll end up seeing both rain and snow through the day on Tuesday. But Tuesday looks pretty wet. Also be looking for a chance of just rain in the lower elevations for Veterans Day and into Friday. So that's what we're looking at right now. We'll keep you updated through the rest of the weekend. I hope you have a great Sunday.